Hi everybody, my name is Jan Töner, I'm the co-founder of Voice here, and here next to me is our co-founder, David Cockerling. From time to time, we see a promising technology that, the, that is actually useless in everyday life. There has to come a product that makes it actually useful. Today, we are talking about voice control technology. Apps like Siri are not really working the way they should. All of them have two big problems. And the first one, the first one is, they don't work with the most popular apps out there. And the second is, they limit their technology to only a few apps. Today, we're presenting you a product that solves both problems. Voice Sphere, the app that lets you talk to everything on your phone. So let's take on the first issue with them. All of them were great with things like the local calendar, the weather app, or the contact list on our phones. But these things are really not what we spend our time most with. We spend our time on Twitter, sharing photos on Instagram, or listening to songs on Spotify, YouTube, and much more. VoiceSphere works with 20 of the most popular apps right from the start. And David will show you how great this works right now. So uh, can we switch to the mobile device, please? So as I start up the app, you see uh, that my apps are in place in my personal app feed. So here's Dropbox, for example, and uh, here's Instagram. And if I want to talk to one of these apps, I can just tap on them and say, show me photos about Starbucks. And there you see, it takes a little time to load, but it gets the photos right from Instagram. Here are some and photos with the hashtag Starbucks I found on Instagram. And I can actually walk through them right in voice view without even leaving the app. So let's try another one. Play Get Lucky on SoundCloud. I found Get Lucky on SoundCloud. So I can actually listen to the song without even leaving the app. And even, even if you don't find the song you want on SoundCloud, VoiceSphere can find it on Spotify or YouTube. What makes VoiceSphere really stand apart is how easy it is to integrate new apps in VoiceSphere. And we're at TechCrunch Disrupt, so let's make VoiceSphere work with TechCrunch. Can we switch to the web demo, please? So here I am inside VoiceSphere's API hub. Think of it as an IDE for API integrations in VoiceSphere. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new API called TechCrunch. We want to use this to ask VoiceSphere about the latest stories on TechCrunch. So I add a function called latest stories. Here I give our algorithms a starting point by providing a possible user request. And now, just with a few lines of code I prepared for the demo, I'm going to get the latest stories from TechCrunch's RSS feed and show them right inside VoiceSphere just with these few lines of code. And as you see, it already works. So let's take a look at this on my mobile device. Can we switch back to the mobile device, please? Latest stories on TechCrunch. So what you see there Latest is the... Latest headline, KiwiKey's wireless entry makes getting into your home after a long day easier. What you see there is actually running the app we just created. From now on, everybody can access TechCrunch just with their voice using VoiceFeed. Can we switch back to the slides, please? So you see, the API Hub is really advanced technology that allows us to integrate more and more apps really fast. So let's, take a, let's talk about the second problem with voice control apps. All of them actually limit their technology to only a few apps. Think of all the sophisticated software out there like Google Analytics or Salesforce. It would be such a tremendous improvement if professionals could reach all the data and functionality of these products just with their voice. And David will show you this improvement with a little demo right now. So can we go back to the mobile device, please? 
show all my leads on Salesforce. So they I see, found five leads in your Salesforce account. They see my business contacts from salesforce.com and they have all the data connected to them on Salesforce. For example, their phone numbers. So I can just go ahead and give them a call. Call John Smith. And there you see, it uses voice here to call them. Persönliche Geheimzahl. A really efficient way to connect to your business data. Can we switch back to the slides, please? Well, we make our API hub open to every business product with an API. They can integrate their application and sell the voice sphere access to their customers inside our enterprise store. And here you see how the enterprise store will actually look like. Professionals can buy the integrations to make their work more easy and efficient. And voice sphere gets a share of every sale. We will receive 20% of the price and will open the enterprise store in the following months. With voice view representing a voice control app that lets you talk to all your favorite apps and that lets complex software benefit from our technology. So check out voice view on Google Play. It's now available for free. Okay, thank you. Thank you, and I think it's uh, great to have uh, some great young founders here at uh, pitching at Disrupt, judges. Uh, what's your background and why are you doing this? So we're coming from Bonn and we graduated from high school this year and uh, since January this year we work hard on voice sphere and full time after graduating. So I'm just trying to understand it from an end user. So, I mean, you're on Android right now, but so how do I actually use voice for all my apps, what do I actually have to do? Well, all you have to do is to download VoiceSphere from the App Store, and then you can set it up to work with your apps that require a login, like Facebook or Dropbox or Instagram, and then you can just go ahead and ask for what you want. So if you want your Instagram feed, you ask what's new on Instagram, or show my Instagram feed. And if you want to take a look at what's on your Dropbox, you say open my Dropbox. So it's really an intuitive way to interact with your apps. So are there any limitations to what apps you can use? And is there any, is it the third party app developers that need to do some, integrate with you guys or how does that work? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Is there any limitations to which apps you can use this with? Right now, uh, the limitation is pretty simple. The, apps need to have, the app uh, needs to have an API. But every app with an API can be integrated inside our API hub. We take care of the natural language processing. We take care of the infrastructure. And every app with an API can be integrated in voice theme. Um, so you started five weeks ago. You seem to have a lot done. Um, what, what's the underlying core technology and who you're licensing it from? Uh, I, I guess you don't do, you haven't built voice recognition in the last five weeks. I'm sorry, could you repeat that last bit? What, what technology are you licensing for the voice recognition? For the voice recognition, we use the Google technology at the moment because uh, when it comes to providing a great user experience uh, as a voice control app, you really need to be great at two key things. The first thing is the voice recognition and the second thing is the natural language processing. And for the first thing, we use a Google API, Google Voice Recognition API. It's the best on the market and it has a very simple reason to do great voice recognition you actually have to have a lot of voice samples to compare against. That's why we use Google for the voice recognition. And we focus on providing the API infrastructure and the natural language processing algorithms. So we can provide the best user experience by using Google voice recognition and our NLP. Where do you make the money? We make money uh, with, with uh, what Jan just presented, the enterprise store. So there are a lot of consumer apps that people want to use with uh, their voice, like Facebook, like Spotify, like SoundCloud. But there are also very, very sophisticated programs out there, like Google Analytics is a great example. It's, a, it's, a awesome, it's an awesome app, but if you open it up, you have these 10,000 tons of options and filters uh, to, to get a simple piece of information, like how many uh, viewers has my, did my website uh, get in the past uh, seven days. And this is a command that could be done really efficient using voice. And we want to open our API hub to business products 
So they can sell the voice peer access to, let's say, Google Analytics inside our enterprise store. And if a professional that deals with Google Analytics a lot and needs a quick and easy way to access his data wants to use it, he just spends a few dollars, we get 20%, the app provider gets 80%, and that way we have both great experience for professionals and a great monetization model, I think. Um, what do you, any other questions? Or, um, you, you go for it. How do you guys feel about moving to New York? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty cool. I always yeah. dreamed of the Silicon Valley, but I guess New York's pretty cool also. <laughs> Yeah. You, you should apply to AngelCloud. I'm impressed. You've thought about a lot of things. Um, you know, the monetization. I mean, there's a lot to be done, obviously, but you've thought about a lot of things. Um, and I, you know, it's 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 one of those, you know, simple things that can be under the radar for a long time, and all of a sudden pop up, and you're like, wow, like why did no one? Why did they not do that? Why did they not do that? Why did they not do that? Um, it's just a very simple, smooth integration. And um, if you've built this in six weeks, um, just two of you out of high school is pretty cool. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, are you guys, uh, you just got a, two high school, two high school kids uh, just got uh, an offer to go to New York and build a startup. That's